Wer kommt jetzt? Wer kommt jetzt? Es geht um eine Serie, die geliebt wird. Sie heißt Shadow and Bone und beruht auf einem Buch und auf einer Bücherei, also, die wir auch hier haben. Guck mal, jetzt habe ich sie. Hab und meine. ach, guck mal, was für ein Zufall, ja. denn diese Duologie, die in dieser Reihe stattfindet, ähm, die zwei Menschen die jetzt kommen, die spielen in der Serie mit und spielen zwei Charaktere aus diesem Buch. Wir begrüßen jetzt alle mit sehr viel Vorfreude. <lacht> Freddy Carter und Amita Suman. Some excitement over here. <laughs> yeah. So Hi. nice of you to join us. And um, it's so great to see you in person because you play two characters that are very grim. It's so nice <laughs> to see a smile. Yeah, yeah, the smile is yeah, the yeah, it's, thing I'm I not used to it. Yeah. And um, <laughs> it's it's crazy. And <laughs> Whoa. I've never had them described as grim before. <laughs> is that a translation thing? You have, uh, you have a, a, a thousand yard stare when you play uh, Kaz. You can't go like, and, and, and it's, it's pretty intimidating. But you're, <laughs> like, when you smile, it's the exact opposite. So you must be a very good actor. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> and um, I mean, it's obvious uh, you're very beloved. And uh, it's a series, Shadow and Bone, that's been loved by fans. Uh, but before it started, that wasn't, you know, it could have gone the other way as well. Did you feel the pressure when you started? Because the fandom is huge. Did you know what you were getting into? Uh, <laughs> not fully. Not no. fully. No. no. Um, I think when, when I got sent the initial sort of audition sides and the kind of first part of the script, we also got sent this link to a website called Grisha Wiki, which is like a kind of deep dive rabbit hole thing, which we just, oh, I just went into. And I think all of us got a little bit obsessed and kind of spent a lot of time on that mm. website going. And I think then I, I sensed that maybe there was something bigger going on. What about you? Um, when someone somehow found out my casting and Netflix, you know, this was my first big job, and we were sent. It got leaked, right? The it got leaked, yeah. and Netflix sorry again. Like, no, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> was that you? <laughs> it's always him. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they said, "Do not, under any circumstance, let anybody know that you are cast." And all I did was just follow Lee Bardugo. <laughs> you were <laughs> that asking did it. for it. I clearly, and then suddenly, Twitter. It was my first experience of Twitter. I mean, you see when his cast is in Oshkafa, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to get fired before I even start <laughs> oh, the no. job. Um, and that kind of gave me an idea that, ooh, ooh, yeah. Uh, do you remember when the casting came out, Freddie, when it was announced that uh, your uh, yes, cast? Yes, we were already in, um, in Budapest. We had already started pre-production, so mm -hmm. luckily there was a group of us all together when it when there's a picture of the six of us. Oh, it's like the, the picture of the White House when they watch the war room when everybody's <laughs> like... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, exactly. Like this. Watching the reaction. But um, thankfully the reaction was mostly positive, so it was a very yeah. nice, yeah. Yeah, exciting time. Now, be honest, do you sometimes look up fan art about yourself? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Would I have to... Lie about that. I, lo I love <laughs> Should I have been lying all this time? No, no, no. I, love, I love looking at the fan art. It's incredible. I mean, the stuff that's in the books, the kind of commissioned stuff, the stuff that Lee had a say in is amazing. And then, you know, the way that the fandom has taken that and kind of incorporated us in and then sometimes leaving us out. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's great. I, I just really enjoy it. Yeah, it must be crazy because before the show, people had an image in their head about these characters and the fan art looked similar but now it's just literally your faces it do yeah isn't that yeah. isn't that weird what's what kind of feeling is that is it just positive or it do is you sometimes get weirded out I, I do get a tiny bit weirded out just because the first time i read the books you know i <laughs> it's it's now come to the stage where um when i meet you know you amazing people um you guys know that I'm the number one fan of Inej, and then you come second. 
Um, but when I saw the fan art of Inej, I was like, oh, wow, she, she has a, um, a presence to her. And when I started reading the books, I couldn't imagine myself. And then now I do see myself and the incredible fan art helps helps it as, as well. So it's, it's uh, something I'll never really get used to. And then what was even weirder was that when <laughs> the Crows book um, had our pictures on it, I was in Waterstones because I always go there and I'm like, oh, that's my lip. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was the weirdest thing, being on a book cover. Yeah. 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 A cool, weird thing. Yeah, you are asking, yeah, of course it's crazy to be on a book cover. Yeah, wow. I know, but oh that, that's the craziest thing. Is uh, no, yeah, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've, I'm on book covers all the time, so it's yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> He's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not. I'm not, not yet. You should be. Yeah, absolutely. Your lips should be on a book. Cover. <laughs> <laughs> if if you want it, you can have it. <laughs> Freddie, you can have my lip. This is going totally different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was gonna so go. Keep uh, asking. Keep asking. <laughs> but, Speaking about incredible chemistry, um, your characters have a <laughs> weird relationship because they're not love interests, but they're not not love interests either. It's like it's very slow burning. And when I read the books, um, it was uh, I could feel it, but when I watched the show, I could feel it as well. Is mm. it something you consciously worked on? Uh, how did you manage to get that ch chemistry just right? In my emotionally point of view. manipulate. I'm joking. <laughs> 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 no. Um, I mean, a lot of it is casting, you know, you get put opposite someone great and you get to work with them and someone who also loves the scripts and the books as much as you do and you get to sort of dive into it and we had lots of conversations about about just that, are they love interests, are they not, you know, where, where do they sit and I think it's a sliding scale for them and so far in in what we've seen on screen, it's sort of not not matched up. One of them has thought that they're love interests, while well, the other one didn't think <laughs> that they were, and then they sort of swap places. And they never so touch. It's been really fun to play. It's uh, the, the touch, but yeah. They <laughs> yeah, the trauma gets in the way. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the drama gets in the way. I think I think reading the book as well, um, and never having read such chemistry before in anything or seen it portrayed on on screen, you know, going into it, I was quite worried, thinking, how are we going to show? the chemistry that these two have, because it's not just your sexual attraction, it, it's this um, electricity, this this uh, innate connection that these two have, and, and that kind of shows when both of them are in the same room, but they're not really doing anything, and I was really, really nervous, and then I, I met you, and you know, straight off the bat, I was thinking, okay, thank God. <laughs> um, and then it's... I, I don't know, it was such a beautiful challenge and it shows that there's more to int intimacy than, than just touch. It's the way that they... Um, uh, yeah, they have a weird love language, I feel like. They're not, yeah. they're not speaking about it, they're not showing it very well either, but they're showing it in a way that both of them kind of can. Mm. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing to watch you do it. And it's not just the two of you, the whole cast of Crows. The Crows, is that what? Yeah. That's can I gang. say it? You can say it. All right. <laughs> the Crows, um, <laughs> you all have a great <laughs> chemistry. And um, you just said you were filming in Budapest. And you've been there for like five, six months. Yeah. And as like a crew, I mean, after Corona, uh, where I was tucked away with people I thought I love. <laughs> but spending so much time in just limited space, how did you manage to not hate each other? <laughs> well. Oh. <laughs> no, well, I suppose we get to spend, we get to spend time as our characters. That's and then fun. we get to go, mm. go home and sort of spend, spend time with each other. You know, we get to sort of live two things. I guess you weren't doing a lot of role play. Oh, I tried. I tried. <laughs> it didn't work out. Recommend it. Uh, recommend I told it. you, call me Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, but uh, speaking about your characters, um, uh, Amita, you're a badass, uh, and your character is as well. And uh, is that something you had to learn, or were you like a fighter <laughs> before? Like, did you go out and had like pub brawls and stuff, or did you really have to learn how to fight? Um, I've 
I've always loved being active with my body. Growing up, you know, I did um, a bunch of things. I did uh, army cadets, I did dancing, I did a bit of gymnastics, swimming. Um, but then I lost all of it. So when I got cast as an urgent, you know, she's uh, climbing on rooftops and she's an acrobat and she's all of this. I was like, oh my God, I don't have the flexibility. I don't have the muscle, I don't have the strength. So I did go to the gym a lot, like a lot. Um, and it was really good to feel in touch with the ground. And you know when someone just grabs something and you can tell they have their strength? Might not have seen it, but I definitely felt like, you know what? If I got attacked today, I could roundhouse <laughs> kick someone and save myself. Um, but yeah, absolutely loved the physical aspect of it. And we had such an incredible team who made me look a lot better than I actually am. So. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, the stunts, uh, I mean, I guess you've got people who do stunts as well, but in some scenes, it looks like you're actually doing a lot yourself. Uh, isn't that dangerous? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? There was so much I wanted to do myself, and uh, I think it was in season one. There's, um, there's a blooper where I hit my elbow. Do you yeah. remember? <laughs> it was that. Day, I, I just kept asking the team because all I had to do was jump out of a window, but there were maps all she and had everything. All she had to, all do, she yeah. had to do was jump out of a window. <laughs> but, but there was a mat, and the windowsill was only there. And I said, "Guys, can I do it this time? Can I do it this time?" And I asked about 20 times, and I asked the last time, and the, and the whole room just went no. <laughs> and in the next scene, of course, I hit my elbow on the on the door, and I learnt my lesson to oh. listen to the team. Yeah. So no jumping out of windows? For no, you. sadly not. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Next season. <laughs> I did. Though. You did? You did? Yeah. Okay, and? I did, but it wasn't even caught on camera. Uh. <laughs> no, I know, really. Why? There's, 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 you there's that video did it. footage it of me of dangling from a, the side of a building in Budapest. I was like 40 feet in the air. But why? Well, <laughs> this, was, this was my question. When <laughs> I assumed when they showed me this huge crane that, that there'd be like some cool shot down the side of the building or something. I was like, yeah, fine. And then the camera was inside the building <laughs> on the fourth floor, and you, all you did was no. watch me come through the window. Could okay. have been the first floor, for as far as anyone's concerned. So <laughs> there I am. someone telling you to jump. You just didn't, all right, I get the scene. No way, free! <laughs> yeah. but, no, 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 I was harnessed up. I all was right. very safe. So okay. it was a prank? It wasn't. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it felt like someone was laughing. <laughs> Not me. So we are. Yeah, you are now. <laughs> The writer of the books, uh, Lee, is also involved in the process. It feels like, as an actor, uh, maybe like cheating, because you can just call someone up and go, you know what, what will my character do? Yeah. Do you sometimes take that shortcut? Yeah. <laughs> always. I, I, I'm, I'm always dangling out of a window, uh, Lee. <laughs> yeah. Is it uh, fine? <laughs> yeah, would my character dangle out of a window? No, but it, especially in the first season, where... It was all moving quite quickly. I think we were cast a, a month and a half, two months. You were a bit Something longer like yeah. before we went and started shooting. So just to kind of read all the books, digest them, and then rather than go back and read the book a second time, you could just shoot, shoot off an email to the author and be like, what did you mean by this? And, you know, <laughs> what were the, is that really what this is? Or, you know, have I got this right? So that was, I mean, it was invaluable. And, having, uh, and Lee was so sort of open to that and open to our ideas. And mm -hmm. she wasn't kind of... Um, she cares very deeply and she sort of protects her characters, but she's not defensive. Mm -hmm. She's not kind of stubborn. If you come to her with an idea about what something might mean and she likes it, she'll go with it. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to follow up with. Did you ever like have a discussion? No, wait, I think my character would do this and she's like, I invented the character. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Did you ever have a, like, a disagreement? Not really. I think, um, I think the books are just so well written that uh, I just completely trusted in who she is and and what her story was and um, if anything season one was a prequel to the books so we did have a lot of questions about I had a lot of questions about these characters are you know how long have they been working together where are they at are, are they friends is the chemistry always there was it from the beginning um, so it was always just questions rather than uh, um, statements yeah, pretty much. Yeah, and I think we got really lucky with the, the team, the creative team, the writers, producers, Eric and yeah. Dagan and Lee, in that um, 
as adaptations go, it, it could probably be quite difficult if you're not coming at it from the same yeah, sure. mm -hmm. place. And we all, I think, started off from the same place of really loving the books and wanting to do them justice. And I think that the kind of heart of the books, the kind of soul, as it were, we all agreed what that was. And we tried our best to put that on screen. So That's, we were, there was kind of very little, there was lots of creative discussion and excitement, but no very few, very few disagreements about what stuff could mean or should mean. That's very fortunate. Yeah. Also kind of boring, but also <laughs> fortunate. Yeah, sorry, no gossip. <laughs> gossip. And uh, when you started shooting season two, I think there was a time span in between where you yeah. uh, had to come back to the characters. What, what, the, what was it like? Did you have to rediscover uh, Inesh, and uh, uh, or do you just, just like a code, could put their on again? Um, it, it had been, what, two years, something like that? It had been a while. It had yeah. been a really, really long time. Um, but I, if I'm having a rather sleepless night, I, I listen to the audiobook <laughs> um, of, of Six of Crows. And uh, the, what was different for season two was because you'd already been in the character's shoes for, you know, six months, I, it, it comes to you a bit easier, so you feel like you're not doing as much work. And I was just, oh my God, <laughs> am I doing enough? Like, I feel like I should be doing more prep and all of this and all of that. But I think when you just love your character, um, no matter, it's, it's like it's like having that really good best friend. No matter how much time has passed, you guys meet up and you start from the same. I wish again. I could relate. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. What I'm did kidding. COVID do to you? <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, it, it was it was like that. But then in season two, you just get to discover more parts of of the story, um, and it was really fun to do scenes from the actual book. That was one thing that I was really really excited about. What about you? Did you have to rediscover Kaz, or is this just like a you, good friend? You mentioned in your question, you know, putting on a coat. Yeah. It really was kind of mm. the costumes mm. are so brilliant, and the mm. the silhouette of them is so specific that actually wearing that costume and those shoes and yeah. um, having the cane, yeah, you, you know, look it really, does, it really great. And the costume is nice too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Um, but it does make you stand in a certain way, and it sort of was a physical muscle memory. Because I, similarly, was quite concerned about going back and how long it was going to take and if it was going to be quite a sort of sticky process, but actually it was, it was great. Oh, nice. And uh, I have a lot of questions. <laughs> yeah, because I thought it would be... It's, it's so logical that you, the posture makes you uh, remember the character and I mm. thought it's, it must be such a difficult process just like literally putting on a coat. So that's... That's literally all, all I do yeah. for a living. <laughs> And Easy uh, like that. Yeah. <laughs> I would take a look uh, yeah. at the chat and yeah. see if uh, people from uh, outside who are watching right now have some questions. Yeah. So we have uh, one question. The first one um, is, what do you like the most about the characters that you play? Ah. Um, everything. <laughs> 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 I think the thing that I love the most about her is uh, she is... She's not afraid of feeling fear, but at the same time, she's actually one of the bravest characters, I think, in the Grisha verse. And I think she's been such an inspiration to me in terms of um, womanhood and, and what it means to uh, uh, stand up for yourself, but somehow still be kind to everyone else. It's not in the consequence of, it's, it's for the better, if that makes sense. It does. That's Thank a great you. answer. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I love that he's three steps ahead of everyone at any given moment. Mm -hmm. You know, how th that's not something that I experience very often <laughs> in my life. And so, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. It's just cool playing smart people <laughs> and getting to figure out how smart people act and operate. That's, uh, Are you sometimes that really disappointed fun. when you come back to real life? And I know. <laughs> Oh, oh wait. Uh, yeah. Okay. I can't figure this one out because I'm not him. <laughs> I need a coat. <laughs> Someone coat, give me a coat. Give me a coat, yeah. <laughs> um, second question. Um, is there, ah, we had that. Is there a certain character trait of your characters that you also see in yourself? In real life. <laughs> well, I'm not grim. <laughs> I don't think. Uh, no, I, I think loyalty is probably one of the few things that we have in common, um, Kaz and I. I did have to look quite hard to find the things that we're <laughs> doing, <laughs> thankfully. Um, but yeah, loyalty. Mm -hmm. um, 
We both have really long hair. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You look alike. <laughs> yeah, you look yeah. alike. Yeah. Um, Your muscles. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> um, uh, I think it's, gosh, uh, I, I don't know. Um, we both just love being... Uh, it's, you know what it is? It's, it's adapting in new situations. I've moved countries um, once, <laughs> <laughs> but I did a pretty big move. It was, but, a, big you know, move. It was yeah. a big move. My whole life changed. And uh, I, I came here with dreams and aspirations and, um, and uh, it, yeah, something like that. <laughs> you're, both, you're both very present. Oh, I would thank say. you. Thank you, sir. If you ever need an, if you ever get asked that again, yeah. I would just Great. say, present. <laughs> Thank you. Keep it short. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no. And did you come in my hand? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, something else I loved about the book, but also about all the books uh, and uh, the series, is the banter. I don't know if that's the correct English term. Yeah. Uh, like yeah. the way that, okay, it's the correct one. Yeah. <laughs> um, and um, it's, it's kind of a tricky question because, um, but I'm, I'm gonna try. Do you have a favorite line of the books or the series? Doesn't have to be specifically your character, but ah. maybe in, in general, does one come to mind? Because I think it's uh, so full of one-liners and sharp dialogue yeah. and you just yeah. deliver it like, I don't know, it's uh, something I wish I would be like when I speak. Mm. I feel like Kit and Danny would be the people to ask. They played Jesper and Nina yeah. in the show. They're the kind of That's witty true. people. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, I quite like the line, uh, then we destroy him. That's quite a <laughs> powered, like. Yeah. Yeah, I quite like that one. That was good. <laughs> so supportive. Yeah, you're yeah. very supportive. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I have so many more questions, yeah. but so little time. It was so great of you to join us. Thank, thank you. you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, no, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy Carter, Amita Suman. <laughs> <laughs>